Hey guys, my name is Monica. Welcome back to my channel. Today, as you can see, we are doing something very special. So, for Halloween, I really wanted to do like a very creative look for you guys. So, I call this one, Wednesday Adams Goes to Coachella. Ashley, turn off your phone! Sorry. So, I was at icing and I found like black gems and a black flower crown. And I really wanted to do something with it, so... Here we are. So this is gonna be my first Halloween video. So please go easy on me. I'm gonna do my best. Actually, that's a lie. This is not my first Halloween video. My first video was a kind of Halloween video. But this one's gonna be better. So you should watch this one. Stay tuned. We're gonna start with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Primer all over my face. So I have already put on moisturizer and done my morning routine and stuff. So as soon as you're done with all that, you can just jump right into primer. If you have not done that though, Go do that now. Next, we're going to take the Dream Liquid Mousse Foundation from Maybelline, and we're going to put on our beauty blender and apply that all over our face. Alright, now take your concealer and cover up your blemish spots because I'm going to take the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Natural. I'm going to use this all over my blemishes and any spots that I want to conceal. So, we're going to use a very heavy product that I really love and I saved this product mostly for fall and winter but it is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cream Contour Palette. As you can see, I have done a number on this thing. I love it so much. It is my favorite contour palette ever. I still have so much of the shades left. My favorite brush to use with this palette is the Sephora brand Pro Contour Highlight Brush. It is number 80. I love this brush. It is definitely my favorite brush of all time. So what we're going to do is we're going to dip into this yellow shade first because we use the yellow one under our eyes because the yellow counteracts the dark circles and brightens the appearance of your under eyes. And I just kind of place it like a triangle under my eyes and just use the brush to blend it out too, so. I'm gonna take my beauty blender and I'm gonna blend it out a little further because sometimes the brush does not blend it out to the level that I want it to, so. Always make sure when you're blending your under eyes, you're not pulling at your skin too hard because the skin around your eyes is actually the most sensitive when you pull it and it causes the baggy eyes faster when you're dragging and pulling the skin. So next, these two shades are usually used for highlighting. So here on the bridge of your nose and usually on your chin and the under parts of your cheeks. But I get very oily on the high points of my face, so I usually skip that. And we're just going to go straight for the contour shade. And for that, I usually mix all three of these colors and apply them. After you finish blending your contour, we're going to take the matching powdered Anastasia Beverly Hills Contour Kit. As you can see, I've also abused this one too. And we're just going to take this shade the middle yellow one and apply that lightly under our eyes just to set the cream. And we're going to take this lighter shade and even though we didn't apply the cream product for the high points of our face, we're still going to set them. Now we're going to take a contour brush and dip it into all three dark shades just like we did with the cream palette. And I'm going to apply it into the hollows of my cheek. Why I'm a very dark person. And she would want this look to be as dark as possible. So we're really going to carve out her features in this. Going to make our nose super skinny. So we're going to take the Urban Decay Naked Skin Ultra Definition Foundation Powder. 
And we're just going to use that as an extra shine control because, you know, Coachella gets a little hot. She's wearing all black. She's probably going to be sweating. So, want to make sure she can't melt her makeup. Now that we've completely set our faces, I'm going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in shade Medium Brown with my number 12 brush. And we're just going to define the brows. So Wednesday Adams definitely has black hair. So luckily I have black hair. But if you are doing this look and you don't have black hair and you're using a wig or something, I would highly recommend using a dark eyebrow color. Um, don't use black because I don't even use black. Black is way too harsh on my face. Even though I have black hair, it still brings too much harshness to my features and my face. So I usually go for like this medium brown, dark brown look. Just because it looks a lot better and more natural. So we're going to start with primer. We're going to use the eyeshadow primer from Urban Decay. Apply it all over the lid because you're going to need this for all the black eyeshadow we're about to apply. You want that to stick and you really don't want black eyeshadow to crease because it's not pretty when it does. It's very obvious too, actually. Now that we've applied all the eyeshadow primer, we're gonna to to take a black crayon pencil eyeliner. I'm using the Kylie Black Eyeliner and we're just gonna color over it. Just add like a little mini base for the lid. Because we're essentially just putting a shit ton of black on here. There's really not going to be much else. Adding the black eyeliner as a base makes the color 20 times more pigmented. And allows the black to stay put too. See, I didn't even fully put it on my lids. But that's just enough to get like the pigment that I want out of this. We're going to take Noir right over here from the Sultry palette and we are going to literally apply that everywhere. Literally, black eyeshadow is my absolute favorite makeup product. Someone once told me that my ideal look would probably be um, an everyday black smoky eye and a nude lip. And I can't tell you how accurate that is because that would actually be my ideal look if I could wear it like one look for the rest of my life that would be it I remember when I was in high school I used to wear so much black eyeliner that someone once told me that people would call me raccoon behind my back which looking back now was actually very fitting for the amount of eyeliner I wore because I wouldn't just wear it like every day I'd leave it on and it would get under my eyes too and I always looked like I had like really baggy eyes but then when I stopped wearing it I was like wow my under eyes are actually fine They're... I do not have eye bags I thought I did for years okay so that happened I don't know what to do about this now why do bad things happen to good people I'm just gonna use a q-tip get the most of this and we're just going to use some concealer and like reapply that in a minute but like for now I'm just going to leave it be we're going to take this shade here rustic and we're going to take it with the fluffy end of the brush and we're just going to like slightly blend that into the crease just so, you know add like a little bit more definition to this black smoky eye but ultimately we're still just making a mess I wonder what Wednesday Adams' second favorite color is. What if it was like pink or something? Plot twist. So I didn't realize that my camera ran out of footage halfway through that eye look. So I'm pretty much just going to tell you guys what the last step that I did was. I pretty much just took this shade over here. It's called Fairy. And it's like a really shimmery little gold color. And I just put that on the inside corners of my eye. Just, you know, give it a little bit more definition so it's not just a black smoky eye. It has something a little bit more to it. So now we're just going to apply the same black pencil that we used on our lid for our waterline. So, again, we want this look to be as goth as possible. 
while still being very festival-like. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply these Mega Volume Ardell Lashes. I just got them from CVS like yesterday. So they're brand new, still in the packaging. I'll be right back. Here they are. Here are my lashes. So I feel like these are a little large on my eyes because they don't fit as comfortably as my other ones do, but it's okay. I still have really big eyes, so they work. Um, but always make sure you cut your lashes before you put them on your face to make sure that they do fit. Luckily that I'm able to still put them on, but otherwise it can get really uncomfortable wearing lashes that are too big for your eyes. I'm going to take the Urban Decay Perversion Mascara and I'm just going to use this on my bottom lashes just to make them look a little darker. You don't need to put too much. This is not a big deal, even if you don't put it on. So as far as blush, I'm just going to apply this on my cheeks like so. And like you can see, it's not too bright. It's not too pink. But at the same time, it still makes your cheeks rosy enough. Gives you a little bit of color. I'm going to be using my ColourPop Cosmetics highlighter and the shade is Spoon so it's like a really like whitish kind of highlight color. If you touch it, it's literally like a little cushion. So I'm just going to be using my finger for this one because brushes really don't work well with this. See, I'm just adding like a little bit just to highlight my cheekbones. You don't need a lot, that's why I use my finger. See, with this one, a little bit goes such a long way, and it's a lot easier to actually blend out on your face if you use your finger. I don't know why ColourPop does that. I personally don't like using my finger for anything. I don't like touching my face, but you gotta do what you gotta do. We're just gonna take the slightest bit and put it on the button of our nose, because I feel like it makes my nose look really cute when I do this. So, for lip color, I wanted a black shade, but I didn't want just the black. The Kai Majesty Metallic Liquid Lipstick, so it's like a black sparkly color. But I don't have a black lip liner, so I'm just going to be using eyeliner. Because, you know, it does the same thing. Now that we've completely finished the face, we're going to have to set it. Now we have to accessorize. So, I went to icing and I bought these flower crown and gems. And I was wondering, like, what kind of look could I do with these? And then I realized I could be Wednesday Adams going to Coachella. So, we're going to apply these. I'm going to put this on my forehead, like so. And we're going to open these gems, and we're going to put them on our face. Wish me luck. for this. I think I found my calling. I feel like I should look like this every single day because I, I'm in love. I literally, I love this. Okay guys, so that's it. This is the final product. This is what we're gonna go out and this is Wednesday Adams if she were to go to Coachella in the 21st century. So, if you like this look and you stayed through this entire video, thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe, like, leave me a comment. If you have any suggestions, don't forget to message me. My Instagram and my Twitter are both down below in the bio. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Okay, guys, so we're going to go scare Ashley, and we're going to see what she thinks about this. Hey. Ah! Hey. Oh, my God. 
you look like you look like a wook. So blur, bro. 